Hi, please subscribe to my channel and put likes if you enjoyed the video. Today we will begin to study the history of New Zealand banknotes. In this video, we take a closer look at the first series of paper money issued by the Reserve Bank of New Zealand. Studying the history of New Zealand is impossible without the Mora people, since they are the original inhabitants of New Zealand, and before the arrival of Europeans, they made up the bulk of the country's population. The first series was heavily influenced by Mora motifs. In advance, I want to introduce you to some words from the Mori language that we will use in this video. Kohaihai are Mori motifs. They are a way to tell a story and each has a meaning. Kohaihai patterns are traditionally painted in Wiranui, meeting houses, storehouses, on the prow of canoe or on many forms of carving such as boat paddles or water containers. A pupu is a wall panel located underneath the veranda of a Mori Wiranui, meeting house. It is generally built to represent the spiritual connection between the tribe and their ancestors and thus each pupu is carved with emblems of the Mora master woodcarver's particular lineage. A Wiranui is a communal house of the Mora people of New Zealand, generally situated as the focal point of a marae. A marae is a fenced-in complex of carved buildings and grounds that belongs to a particular tribe, sub-tribe or family. Wiranui are usually called meeting houses in New Zealand English, or simply called ware, a more generic term simply referring to a house or building. Before 1934, a number of trading banks issued their own banknotes in New Zealand and were not obligated to accept each other's banknotes. By the 1920s there was a general desire to have a single national currency. Accordingly, the Reserve Bank was established in 1934 as the sole authority for issuing New Zealand's national banknotes, while the New Zealand Treasury had responsibility for issuing new coins. New Zealand was the last British Dominion to establish a national currency. The Reserve Bank has released seven different issues of New Zealand banknotes. Two issues took place when the New Zealand pound was the national currency, and the remaining five issues have taken place since New Zealand switched to decimal currency in 1967 to the New Zealand dollar. The first New Zealand banknotes were released on 1 August 1934, signed by the first governor of the Reserve Bank, Leslie Lafoe. The first issue was printed by Thomas de la Rue and his company based in London and included notes with the denomination of 10 shillings, 1 pound, 5 pounds and 50 pounds. The banknotes were all the same size, 7 by 3.5 inches. The colours of the original banknotes were similar to the previous trading banknotes. All the notes carried the same design, but different colours distinguished the denominations and in the borders, which featured more motifs. Each note was printed with its respective value and unique serial number. The first issue notes were designed at short notice and intended to be temporary for that reason. The features were based on notes already in circulation and included Mori iconography, each note featured a Kiwi, the New Zealand coat of arms, Mida Peak in Fjordland is the main image on the back, on which the value of each note is also printed, and a portrait of King Tawiao, the second Mori king. The watermark was the text, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand in capitals. The first series 10 shilling note is a dark orange red. Its border comprises carvings of Mori figures on the sides and kohaihai patterns at the top and bottom. The carvings are based on a pupu from an old village in Makedu, Bay of Plenty. The kohaihai in Gudu Kara, Whale, is based on the hammerhead shark. At each corner, 10 slash dash is written. On the reverse, it is written in numerals and symbols, and in words. The first series one-pound banknote is mauve. The border resembles that of the ten-shilling note, but the carvings on the sides are based on the Imo house post figure on the Wiranui meeting house Hinamihi of the Old World. This house was located at the Mori village Tyoa, which was buried when MT Tarawera erupted in 1886. The people sheltered in Hinamihi during the eruption. It was sold to the Governor-General, the Earl of Onslow, in 1892 and removed to his estate, Clandon Park, in England. The Kohaihai border on the top and bottom is called Mango Pear and, like that on the ten-shilling note, is based on the hammerhead shark. The border is completed by the denomination printed on each corner. On the back, one pound is written in numerals and words. The first series five-pound banknote is blue-green. The carvings on the sides are based on the memorial tomb of an unknown Mori chief from the Te Kuiti area. The Kohaihai pattern is called Maui and was designed by Tamadine Gakaho of Ngadipuru, are the largest social units in New Zealand Mori society. The hook-like spirals, which feature on Ngadipuru canoes and buildings, represent discovery. 
The denomination is printed on each corner and is written in numerals and words on the back. The first series 50 pound banknote is red. The carvings on the side are based on doorframe carvings from an early 19th century T. Arawa Weranui meeting house in the Rotorua Lakes area. The carving was acquired by Thomas Gillies and gifted to the Auckland Museum in 1877. The Kohaihai pattern is called Kohain Gutukaka and is based on the Kaka beak, a native plant. The pattern is said to represent placing the interests of family and country before personal welfare. The zigzag Kaukau pattern represents strength. On the back, the denomination is written in numerals and words.